testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It's good to be back, guys. I'm going to be back twice a day, every day, with two shows a day. I've been out of town. I've been busy. I was sick before that, but we are back. I'm completely dedicated again to the channel, two shows a day. I'm going to be bringing that to you every day moving forward, two shows a day, two shows a day. Um, we have a great show for you today. Um, we're going to get into, of course, Stevenson's performance. We're back later tonight uh, with the second show. But let's get into, of course, Stevenson. Uh, but before we do that, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Um, also, the brand new channel, Texas Boxing Scene, which is completely dedicated to boxing in the Lone Star State. Um, we're going to add a lot of new content from there. I got to talk to some good fighters and tra trainers. We're going to upload some interviews on that channel. Everything on the Texas Boxing Scene channel goes directly to autism research and recovery. So please help us monetize that channel as quickly as possible. All right, let's get into today's show. Shakur Stevenson. Um, oh, wait, there's, my little, there's my little banner. You guys guessed it. Shakur Stevenson. Um, his performance was what it was. So he, he's come out and he's apologized for, for the performance. I'm not exactly sure what he's apologizing for. Um, this is who he is, for better or for worse. And I think Shakur Stevens is really, really good and really, really skilled. It would be like, you know, if Mike Tyson came out and apologized for for knocking somebody out, Deontay Wilder came out and apologized for ending the fight with one punch. That's the nature of the beast. That's who Shakur Stevenson is. Um, Shakur's performance was typical. I mean, I, I think this is what we can grow to expect from Mr. Stevenson over here. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. Um, you know, Shakur Stevenson has lost one round in his last four fights to Duet Gonzalez. And I can't even tell you what round that was. So what I'm saying is these are perfect game, picture perfect. Perfect performance. Now I get the level of competition is great, but you got to respect the dominance. Um, he's winning every single round. He scored a knockdown. He's not a power puncher. He doesn't look to get guys out. And usually, I'm typically against that. And I, and I don't know if he'll be able to beat everyone at 30. Certainly not at 35. But right now, he's at 30. Can he beat everyone? I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get into one name who I don't think he can beat. But I think doing what he does now. Just with his reflexes, just with making you miss, just with pot shotting you, um, he can beat everyone in that division, save one name, which I'm going to get to in a second. He beats Jamel Herring. He beats Valdez. He beats Burchell. Um, He's that good. His reflexes are that sharp. So where does he go from here? I mean, why, why, why would he why would apologize? And I don't like calling it boring. He's not a boring fighter. The fight is not Corrales Castillo, granted, right? But this is who he is. This is how he's going to fight. So unless he's going to totally change up his style and become something else, this is what we're going to expect from him. And there's nothing wrong with this, right? Like, look, is he going to be the biggest star in boxing with this style? No, but he can be a world champion for years to come um, with this style. And, and, and it's who he is. Right, like for him to do something different would be to him not to fight his A game. So, look, are there fighters could um, Burchell? I know Burchell's going up thirty five, but yeah, I'm going to use that name. Get in there and and, and spots and make him rough him up. Sure. Um, but if he's going to have success in that fight, that fight's going to have to come from the out. That, that he's going to have to win that fight on the outside. Stand your ground on the inside if you can for as long as you can, as much as you can. But then. Get back on the outside, tie him up, and, and get back on the outside, and use use your lateral movement, use your feet, use what use what God has given you as your advantage. The one name I wanted to throw at y'all that I don't think he can beat is Chris Colbert. Same kind of stage in his development. And I, I know Shakur Stevenson has technically been a world champion, but he won a vacant belt against the guy who also who I like to it because I was never really beat anyone at that point. So yeah, he beat. 
Joey Gonzalez for a vacant belt, but I mean, we're not really going to consider him a, a world title holder yet, for a world champion yet. Um, so, well, I actually think Chris Colbert probably has a better resume, right? Because he has he beat Jezreel Corrales, or he's beaten world champions uh, before. Not current world champions, we but guys who have had major world titles. Um, because Chris Colbert, I think, is more versatile. Right, I, I, Colbert's a master boxer with master skills, so he can box with him, and then he's way more powerful, way more explosive. I, I, I think Colbert wins the fight with clean, effective power punching on the inside, and they box evenly, and, and Colbert takes a decision. Outside of that, not changing anything, just doing what he did in the Nakatali fight. I think Shakur Stevenson beats everyone else in the division. That's how good he is at what he does. He's a special talent. And so is Chris Colbert. Right? And that's what Chris Colbert's a special talent. Um, but so is Sequoia Stevenson. Sequoia's a phenomenal fighter. Uh, you know, where do we go from here with Sequoia Stevenson? You know, he wants either Valdez or Herring. And I, there's like three guys for one fight, right? So someone's going to be left out. You know, take those three guys, make any permutation of those three, and that's your next fight, and the third guy is going to be left out. I don't know who that's going to be. You know, Shakur Stevenson has been fighting the best level of opposition, but he's been dominating every single minute, every single round of those fights. I would like to see Herring versus Frampton, because I'm sorry, Herring versus Frampton. I'd like to see Stevenson versus Herring. Because I think those are the two best fighters in the division. I think Aldez had a once in a lifetime performance that he can never replicate. All right, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be hundred with that. Um, so I like to see those two guys fight. I like to see Stevenson, Harry. You got a New Jersey native. You got a Long Island native. Let's meet up in the middle, Madison Square Garden, uh, for for Harry's WBO belt. That's what I would like to see. Um, but I, you know, business is business. I don't know where we're gonna go next with this. Um. But, I mean, those are the options. And, and as far as Herring, again, Herring apologizing doesn't make any sense to me because it's who he is. Well, like, don't apologize unless you're going to change it. So is Herring saying that he's going to change his style in the future? I don't think he's going to, right? Like, repentance means that you stop what you're doing and you go the other direction. What's he going to stand in and trade? He's going to stand in, in, in a phone booth and fight Valdez in a phone booth? He's not going to do that. So this is what you're going to get. And he's really, really good at it. Now, if, he, if he's going to say, I'm going to sharpen things, I'm going to work on inside, but I'm going to work on walking people down. I'm going to add things to my arsenal that I don't have in my arsenal right now. But he's so good that he doesn't need it at this point, at this stage. If he goes to 135 with all those names in the future, yeah, he may have to add some more tools to the toolbox. But right now, he's good. I think there's one guy in the division who beats him. Unfortunately for him, that guy's on the other side of the promotional street, and they don't work together. Really, outside of Fury a while three times. So he's not losing anytime soon. Um, so I don't know what he's apologizing for. This is who he is, and the performance was what it was. It was it was vintage Shakur Stevenson. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe. Share 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Uh, follow us. Hit the bell icon. Subscribe all the good stuff. Also, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube, completely dedicated to Texas boxing. Uh, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, it is June 14th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in the Hall of Fame. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.